back to my channel cooking with dimple today i will show you another fish recipe which is very popularly made in our bengali homes so the fish which i'll use is tangra this you get in various sizes there are the small ones medium and the bigger and it has very less bones it uh, so it's very tasty to eat so let's check the ingredients needed to make this so the ingredients needed to make tangra are few so today i'm making this tangra with potatoes very simple recipe to make and i i love to make this with fresh coriander leaves as a garnish so let's see the ingredients needed these are the uh, tangra fish pieces which is medium in size garlic and ginger paste chopped tomato potatoes sliced these are very medium slices not very thick or thin grated onion chopped coriander mustard oil for cooking salt and then we require turmeric powder cumin powder red chili powder and onion seeds for tempering and i will use few green chilies in this recipe so let's start the process first i will marinate the fish with little bit of salt and turmeric powder and then shallow fry the fish pieces so marination is not required at all so you can just marinate and cook it instantly so this fish preparation this particular fish can be cooked in various ways so this is the most simple way to cook and eat with plain steamed rice so now i'll fry the fish pieces So first thing I'll do is I'll fry the fish pieces. Be very careful while frying. It might splatter on your face. The flame should be low so that it does not splatter. So this is fried. I will take it out. Don't over fry it, or else the taste will won't be there anymore. Now fry the potatoes. very little salt so the potatoes are also fried i will take them out now Here I'll add one teaspoon of more oil. Heat the oil. So 
so the oil is hot enough now add half teaspoon of onion seeds then add chopped onions or grated onions so you have to saute this onion till it changes its color add little bit of salt so that it fastens up the cooking process and now just fry it for a couple of minutes so once the onions has changed its color now add ginger and garlic paste here i have used 6 cloves of ginger uh, garlic and half inch ginger and i will add the tomatoes as well so continue to saute this you have to saute it this till the raw smell of the garlic is gone if it is sticking to the bottom of the pan you can add little bit of water so now you can see it has sorted well now i will add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of cumin powder 1 red chili will be according to your taste so i'm adding little because my kids will be eating so red chili will always be according to your taste added water so that the spices get mixed well and it can be sorted nicely so you have to saute this well till it leaves oil from the sides and if you want little bit of color you can add kashmiri red chili powder or else you can just increase your red chili so let it saute add little bit of salt So now add water and bring it to boil. Salt you have to check. Salt will be according to your taste. So first let it boil and then I will add the fish pieces so you can see it is boiling so now i'll add all the fish pieces and the potatoes because the potatoes are fried but it has to turn soft it has to cook
few green chilies goes in and now let it simmer so i will add little bit of salt as per me so the potatoes uh, potatoes are almost cooked so the potatoes have turned soft now i'll add fresh chopped coriander and reserve few for garnishing very simple recipe and it tastes very good you can instead of potato you can also use brinjals same way you have to just fry it before and then use so this is done i will just give it a little standing time and then serve it so this tangra fish with potatoes is ready and served as you have seen very simple to make this recipe fresh coriander gives a very nice aroma so do use fresh coriander so friends hope you like my recipe do try if you like my recipe do subscribe my channel and uh, just send your comment i would love to read it thank you and happy cooking